According to Chief Executive Officer for Barrack, Mark Bristow, New Pogera will work with the state and the Mineral Resources Authority to ensure that the SML application process proceeds without delay and in accordance with the Mining Act and the Pogera Project Commencement Agreement. He said that the application and early approval of a new SML is the goal that all Pogera stakeholders should be striving for. The mine has sat idly for almost two and a half years, depriving landowners and the communities of Pogara of employment and other essential benefits that the mine delivered successfully for 30 years. Bristow traveled to Pogara early this week with other barrack executives to begin the security forum alongside the mining minister Sir Anopala, Pogara MO Maso Karipe, SML and LMP landowners, women's groups and business leaders. Members of the police and defense force were also in attendance with representatives of the Enga provincial government. Bristow said it was a constructive kickoff meeting in Pogera, with everyone agreeing that law and order was crucial to the restart of the mine and long-term future of the district. There was a call from the landowners for a signing of a peace agreement and the need for a government-endorsed police operation to address the current lawlessness in Pogera. Bristow said Barrick's commitment to restart will be assured with the building of a dedicated team comprised of a majority of Papua New Guineans to get the mine running again. To date, Barrick and Zijin have funded 391 million U.S. dollars which is approximately 1.37 billion kina, solely for care and maintenance. Carol Kido Jr., TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.